Hi, I'm John Williams. I'm a breast cancer surgeon at the American Society of Breast Surgeons meeting. And I also have the privilege of chairing the President's Cancer Panel. And we just issued a report to the White House and to all stakeholders in cancer, especially patients, about how to improve and close the gap in cancer screening. And breast cancer is a huge component of that. One of the critical and things that we can do now to make cancer screening better, get more people to get screening that they need, that qualify for screening, is to create a National Breast Cancer Roundtable. And immediately after the president launched his cancer moonshot, the American Cancer Society announced that they will create a National Breast Cancer Roundtable. So we're in the formulative stages of that. But this is going to be an organization of organizations of people with the same purpose to improve cancer care, that work together and move the ball forward in cancer screening. Another opportunity that we found that was really important is we need to expand genetic testing. So we made actionable recommendations to the president and to the White House and to everyone in our nation to expand germline genetic testing, see whether you carry the breast cancer gene or other cancer causing genes. And we need to do that with informed consent, not certified genetic counseling up front. That will open up access and also touch people that currently don't get genetic testing because of those barriers. There are genetic counselors that are not in rural areas or in urban areas. We need to offer genetic testing and have more people benefit from that genetic testing. We have a whole bunch of other recommendations, but those are two that I think are powerful. Uh, when we all work together and we try to expand the access and also get equitable outcomes for all groups and people in different demographic areas, different cultural backgrounds. And this is how to do it. When we all work together, identify what those barriers are and solve them. I was asked the question, what is cancer leadership today? And there's no one definition. I play a role where I'm in private practice but I also play a role in healthcare policy in the government. I bring my feet on the ground and my head in the clouds. I want to think big, but I want to be touch. I want to touch what happens to real people and to physicians and everyone on the ground to make sure it works. And that's my story. Um, it's an unusual one. It's not in academics. It's not in the industry. But I think leadership comes from inside. And if you have leadership and you want to do that, you find a pathway forward with the skills that you have and the environment that you're blessed to have or the barriers that you have to work through.